Hey men, I want to make a game app with the, the ownership of it. Uh, I don't know what type of game app I want, so do you have any advice? Hey, quick question. Do you know how to hack Android phones and how much would it be? Hi Tom, love the hair. My daughter thinks you are beautiful. Good morning, my name is And I want to know if the Java or PHP game for the server? I want to make an application for Android and I so well crafted the API. Let's very briefly talk about insomnia. Because it's something that I get quite... Like, I find that I get a complete random, like, I have these bouts of insomnia a couple times a month. Mornings when you don't want to have any responsibilities, just want to lay in bed all day. That is... That is me today. Oh, I'm out of battery. <laughs> I don't know why, but after the first aid training, I just found myself to be in a really rotten mood. So, it's really weird. I, I, I would describe myself as an extrovert, and it's really strange to not want to be around people. It just doesn't flow with me, so when I'm in this mood, this kind of mood where I'm like, no, please don't talk to me. I don't know what to do, I don't know how to be. It's rare for me to be in weird moods or bad moods because I'm very lucky in that I don't really have anything major, majorly wrong with me. Like, strangely enough, most people I know do. I know more people who are students who have are diagnosed with depression than people who don't, and I'm really lucky to not be one of those people. <laughs> I'm just pointing out that in all of my vlogs so far, there's been at least a minute of the clips where I'm sad. And George it doesn't, it doesn't matter. As long as you can't see the desk, it's fine. <laughs> so last week there was a Mental Health Awareness Day, which is not something I had ever come across before. Um, and a lot of my friends who I know struggle with mental health posted things out about it, and I purposefully chose to not say anything, to not share anything, to not use any hashtags. In fact, I don't think I posted anything, like even a tweet on that day. And my reasoning for this is always the same. It's, well, I don't struggle with mental health, so... Uh, I don't need to worry about this. I'm not going to tweet this. I'm not going to invade this space for people that have problems with mental health. I'm lying to myself. Let's talk about friends. Originally, all the footage you've seen so far up to this point was uh, going to be for my personal channel. We've decided in the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, to just do a joint vlogging channel. So that's what you're watching this on now. So um, that's just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting 35 views a video, I was quite demotivated, but now I'm more motivated. So, for those of you that didn't know, the reason why I kind of just drew a blank for about six months on this channel was because I started doing vlogs with my friends up in Lincoln, under the moniker Franz Media. I think I actually put a video out about it on this channel, um, but we did that, we did weekly vlogs for about six months, and one of the things that came up a lot in my videos is that uh, there would always be kind of a two or three minute section where I would just be like, Hey guys, I'm really tired at the moment, you know, I didn't sleep for all last night. The thing is, I get insomnia sometimes and I can't sleep and, and my body's like, Nah, you're not doing those things you want to do. So <laughs> it's fine, it's gonna be good. I've got these things. I'm, I'm gonna go run out to a club tonight. I don't want to drag the section out a bit too much. Basically, um, I had a lot of problems with sleeping. Uh, and it wrecked my life. Anyway, over time, my understanding of this situation grew uh, to a point where I could acknowledge that I would have one or two weeks where I was crazy productive, super like encouraged um, and motivated to do things um, and completely extroverted. And then I would have between one week and four weeks where I just didn't sleep, uh, had no energy, uh, hated being around other people. Um, and made silly decisions. I just felt rubbish all of the time. You can go back and watch these vlogs and you can watch my videos or videos of me in there and you can sort of see a gradual decline as these things happen. This is the thing that I love about vlogs because you see me go from situation to situation and there are scenarios in those videos where I'm being hugely arrogant, hugely arrogant. Now you say to them, if this Felix is all right, the next 30 minutes are going to be an experiment, and in order for or, it to work, you have to listen. That's from the Cody 2012 video, or, obviously. Or, I will literally go from hey, I'm not feeling that great, I didn't sleep real well last night, to oh, we're allies of people, this acts up and be all there. I consider myself to be an extrovert, I, I still do consider myself to be an extrovert. Um, I get frustrated by people, I get annoyed by people really quickly, I'm very sensitive to things like sound, um, but. That's not quite what was going on there. Um, I would just have a couple good weeks and a couple of bad weeks. Ultimately, what I saw as a growing problem once I identified, hey, there's a situation here, there's something's wrong. Um, I removed myself from that situation. Um, and at the time uh, I blamed, first I blamed university and all of the responsibilities I had and I cut a couple of those back, but not really enough. And then when university finished, I blamed my job um, and the people around me that I would spend every day with. And 
now I've realized, actually I still feel that way. I'm just currently in a more supportive environment. The best thing that I did for my mental health was to leave Lincoln. I'm not disputing that at all. It was the best decision I made and it was the exact right thing to do. I don't know where I'd be right now if I hadn't made that decision. I needed to come home. I needed to have all of my comforts taken care of. I didn't wanna sleep for three hours, work nine to five, get back kind of 5.30ish, and then have to do uh, the hoovering or cook myself dinner. So I'm extremely thankful right now to my parents. And now we are where we are, uh, which is in this office which is this company. Um, I didn't buy myself this, by the way. Uh, Zach bought it for me for my birthday last year. In a lot of ways, it's exactly the same as it was a few months ago, but in a lot of other ways, it isn't. Like I said before, I'm still tired all the time, but uh, the things that need to be taken care of are taken care of when I get home, so I don't need to worry about it quite so much. Many thanks to the person who said your videos are so interesting. I, I just assumed these videos were pretty poor, really, since moving into the office. I'm going back up to Lincoln this weekend, which is exciting. I'm really looking forward to seeing people. I, like I say, moving back from Lincoln was the best decision I made, but I really miss um, the environment and the people and uh, the opportunities and the things. I, I miss my friends, uh, even the people that... I chose to, I suppose, stop talking to. Um, and the people I've made, and, and the people who I didn't make a decision to stop talking to, but I've just made no effort to contact since leaving. Uh, I really miss everyone. Uh, there's not a single person that I, that I don't miss massively. But that's just uni, isn't it? You, you, you're in this environment where, you know, anything can happen and you, you're surrounded by these people. And then in the space of 24 hours, everyone leaves. And that environment is gone. Not in a way that you can move back to. That environment is gone. There, most of those people have gone. And that's kind of hard to deal with if you've not experienced that sort of thing before. Um, this video is getting too long now, so I'm gonna stop. But uh, yeah, serious subject. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll um, go back to being arrogant and extroverted next week, I promise. Okay. <laughs>